hey guys welcome to my channel um so today i wanted to do a brief story time slash review on my experience of working with habitat for humanity so about subscribe so maybe two or three years ago me and my husband finally came to a decision that we wanted to live in a house opposed to renting we wanted to own what made us come to this decision basically was um, we've had a few incidents within the past three years or so since our um our complex has changed management. We had three incidents where they gave someone access. Um, they gave them our key. It was a contractor to come in our unit and no one notified us. Um, on one specific time, we actually lost money not long after the incident happened. And my husband, he didn't see him do this, but he promises that he put the money on the dining room table and um, yeah, we never found that money again. I'm not blaming on that situation, but I'm saying it's a bit fishy. Um, another incident we had was that when we originally, we've been living here for 12 years. So of course things change along the way and recently all utilities are not included. Another incident we had is we were told that we would be up for a remodeling for our units and literally what happened is they started and didn't quite finish. So we ended up with holes like in our closets and things of that matter. Um, we had a leaky um, pipe for, I want to say at least a month and a half. Um, long story short, we were not satisfied with renting anymore. I had a friend and she got her home through Habitat. So brief summary, Habitat builds homes for um, the low, lower class, should I say, um, low income to moderate income. Um, in return, once your home is built, you then agree to build someone else's home there's i believe 300 sweat hours that you're putting in so once you're you're in your home you will be donating that 300 hours towards building someone else's home it's a wonderful program i'm not even gonna lie my experience was not so wonderful though so i applied for this program like i said three years ago my friend recommended it. So I hadn't heard anything from the program since those three years. When I last checked, they told me that they had people on a waiting list. They were overcrowded. Um, they wouldn't be accepting any new applicants, but I could still leave my information. Recently, about sometime in July, I received an email from them saying that they're building condos slash townhouses in the southeast area. Um, would I like to come to an open orientation? I went and I was so focused on the build of these townhouses, the location, that maybe I should have inquired a little more about the qualifications for the program. So she briefly went through what the qualifications is, but I feel like not thorough enough. Um, so what happens is first you fill out a package and it has literally all your information. After that, you bring in documents such as, you know, your W-2 forms from maybe two years ago. Um, and last year's and then also like your um, pay stubs the last four your pay stubs anyone over 18 has to bring in the same information 
Um, also, you're you're going to bring in uh, proof of residency. Um, your leasing office will need to write up something stating if you've been late with any rent within the past year. Um, your kids' social security cards, your social security, your date of birth, um, driver's license, um, a, a lot of information it'll ask you to bring in. So I was told that you would pay 15 or it's 20, I think 20 per person in a money order form. And that will be the cause of them pulling your credit report. Your credit report has to be at a 620. At the time we applied for this program, our credit report was at a 620. Mine still is. Actually, it's beyond a 620. My husband's was right there at the borderline. So in the process of this program, I, I later found out that you have to have a pre-approval letter from a banker stating that they will give you the money. Because even though this is a program that's helping people to help people, you still have to pay for the house. So you're still going to need a banker's loan, period. So, um, yeah, I, I went and applied to one bank, got denied, and then I applied to another. Um, in the process of this, I wind up getting a bank approval. It's just that my husband and my credit score had dropped, which is common sense. You get hard inquiries and, you know, the more someone pulls your credit, then the lower your credit goes. So... Within these hard inquiries, my husband credit score dropped about, I want to say 70 points, which is a huge deal. So he went from like a, a 620 to like a five something. Um, with that being said, Habitat later was like, we haven't even pulled you guys' credit. So I'm like, well, it's not going to be at a 620 anymore. Is that going to be an issue? So she's like, well, you know what? Just give us documentation of what his credit score was before the bank pulled it. So I went through the process of doing that. And it clearly stated that he was at a 620. Well, later, she told me that her man, that's not sufficient enough for them. They need the whole, like they need to dig into the credit score. So to dig into it, they have to pull their own. But his credit score is not going to be at a 620 at this point. So maybe we should have pulled his credit score before we went talking to the bankers. Long story short, they're saying that now we don't qualify because even though we have documentation stating where our credit score was prior to this situation, it's not where it needs to be right now. Point two also about, I think it's like, uh, in 2012, um, I have um, a collection. You can't have any collections. Nada. So, as it stands, we have been denied. The program itself is a good program. I feel like future reference, if they want to make it a great program, it's a good program right now. If they want to make it a great program, it should not be this difficult to get in it. I feel like after you do all this, it's hard enough getting a bank approval. No, not to mention trying to get an approval just to qualify to even get the homes. And these homes are not dirt cheap either. You know, I was under the impression that, you know, what they say is like, if you want something, a lot of help from the government, because this is a DC residence type help thing. That's another thing too. You, could, you, you cannot have had a home prior to this you have this has to be a first time home buying um situation too so that's one another requirement with that being said i feel like they're letting good people such as myself i have lived in my unit for 12 years i've not been late on my rent i've never even come close to eviction i feel like they're letting good people i'm a low income household. I have two daughters and I'm just looking to get my first home. You know, yes, I do have a collection seat in 2012. Mind you, I'm still young. So 12, my rapport was not great then, but if you're looking at what's happening right now, 
Like I'm paying all my bills. I'm paying them on time. I have a car note that has never had a late fee that I have paid off a good portion of. I had a car note prior to this that got paid off recently, just got the title for it. So it shows that I pay people back. But it's just not enough. And I just think it sucks because we got so excited, you know, I mean, and like for to me, just for because his credit score is not, you know, not to your standards. If it's good enough for the bank approval, then why isn't it good enough to just get the home? So, you know, I would say that the program has some fixing to do, because if you're looking for the perfect candidate, someone with a a 100% clean, squeaky background when it comes to finances, then you what, what do you, I mean, if you have somebody that has a perfect record and they never have no issue in the finance department, then what they need this program for? You know what I'm saying? Like you can just go on your own and just get a home. The program is for supposed to be for people who can't do it themselves. So why do you keep turning down people? So it's a little frustrating. I was really looking forward to it, but this is not the end of our journey. We're just going to look on our own from this point. So I, I truly believe you know me, guys. I'm all about giving praise to where it belongs. I truly believe that when you've prayed for something, if God sees it as a necessity, something you need at that moment, I mean, Jehovah takes care of the birds. Think about it. If you think about it, the birds never go hungry. You know what I mean? I've seen dead birds, but it's not because of hunger. You know, birds never don't get the things that they need. So if he cares that much about birdies, then how much more does he care about us? So if this is something I need right now, I've prayed on the matter. Jehovah will answer my prayers. If it, my prayers don't get answered, it's either because this program is just not meant for me. It's not good timing for me. Or it's just maybe not a necessity. Maybe it's a want more than a necessity because I do have a roof over my head. So I'm not going to stress about it. But I had to rate this program, Habitat for Humanity, a 1 out of 10. I would probably give it a strong 7. A 7, yeah. Because my friend, she succeeded with this program. And it, it, it also opened my eyes that sometimes, you know, something could succeed for one person and not for another that life is like that you know sometimes you can do something and it works out perfect for you and then someone else try the same thing and it, it doesn't go well for them that that happens a lot too so this program worked for her but it, it didn't work for me in my household so all right guys i hope you enjoyed this slash story time slash review um love you guys Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. I'm getting more friends and it feels so good. Um, I am working towards making better content, but thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. And so ladies, just whoever, stay strong.